Welcome to Hymn Stories, a podcast about how our songs of the faith came to be and how they've encouraged, comforted, and strengthened believers like you and me. Hymn Stories is a part of the Media Gratia Podcast Network. My name is Ryan Bush. Francis Ridley Havergal was born on December 14, 1836, at Astley, Worcestershire, England. She said that from her early childhood, she lived in dread that she would not be among God's elect. Her fear continued until the year 1873. She was 14 years old and had a dramatic conversion experience. She later wrote these words about the event. There and then I committed my soul to the Savior, and earth and heaven seemed bright from that moment. It wasn't long after that Frances found herself at Arley House. It was there that the Lord used her to work in the souls of some ten people. She was overjoyed by the Lord's goodness. In her joy, she penned the hymn, Take My Life and Let It Be. Take my life and let it be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days, let them flow in endless praise, let them flow in endless praise. Listen to how she described what happened. Perhaps you will be interested to know the origin of the hymn, Take My Life. I went for a little visit of five days to Arley House. There, there were ten people in the house, some unconverted and long prayed for, and some converted but not rejoicing Christians. God gave me this prayer. Lord, give me all in this house. And he just did. Before I left the house, every single one had got a blessing. The last night of my visit, after I had retired, the governess asked me to go to the two daughters. They were crying. Right then and there, both of them trusted and rejoiced in Christ. It was nearly midnight. I was too happy to sleep and passed most of the night in praise and renewal of my own devotion to God. That night, These little couplets formed themselves and chimed in my heart one after another till they finished with ever only all for thee. Take my love, my Lord, I pour at thy feet its treasure store. Take myself and I will be Thank you for joining me in this episode of Hymn Stories. May the Lord bless you and keep you as you sing and make melody in your heart to Him.